After the Stormfront controversy, Vought does damage control. A guy called Tony turns up at the Federal Bureau of Superhuman Affairs to see Victoria Newman, but calls her Nadia. Butcher checks up on Ryan, who's staying at a safe house with Grace, and Stan Edgar markets Temp V to Robert Singer for the army. In a bid to restore the Vought brand, Edgar also votes to have Starlight co-captain of the Seven. Maeve meets with Butcher, giving him some Temp V. They must find the weapon used to kill Soldier Boy if they have any chance against Homelander. At the end of his day, Huey sees Tony approaching Newman again. Following them, he witnesses her pop his head. She's the head popper. Huey and Starlight investigate discovering she grew up in Red River, a soup group home owned by a Vought subsidiary. Newman was adopted by Edgar. Tracking down Gunpowder, ex-member of Soldier Boy's team Payback, Butcher takes the Temp V and kills him after discovering he didn't die in an accident and Grace was the case officer working with the CIA at the time. With Stormfront killing herself on his birthday, Homelander cracks on live TV. He's done being persecuted and apologizing for his strength. Surprisingly, his approval ratings shoot up, whilst MM rejoins the team learning about Soldier Boy who killed his family many years ago. Butcher questions Grace. Edgar brought in Payback to join the fight against communism, but the base was attacked and Soldier Boy was captured and killed. In a moment of anger, Butcher lashes out at Ryan, blaming him for Becca's death. Speaking with Huey later, he throws up on him, revealing he's on V. Starlight and Homelander introduce the new members of the Seven, Supersonic, an old friend of Starlight's, and the Deep, back in the fold. Butcher makes a deal with little Nina, needing information on the weapon used by the Russians. Starlight asks Supersonic if he's willing to fight Homelander if it comes down to it, and he attempts to recruit A-Train. Homelander gives Newman V to give to her daughter, whilst she publicly denounces Stan Edgar, having him removed from the company. With Huey also taking V, the boys arrive in Russia, finding not the weapon that killed Soldier Boy, but the man himself still alive. He's been experimented on, developing a power beam that appears to remove Kamiko's powers. Homelander warns Starlight, showing her the brutal remains of Supersonic, having been handed in by A-Train. With Blue Hawk killing a man walking home from work, A-Train tries to get him to apologize, but it goes wrong, resulting in his brother being paralyzed. The boys visit the legend who tells them Soldier Boy dropped by to pick up his super suit, intending to hunt his old teammates down, having betrayed him all those years ago. With Maeve helping Butcher, Homelander locks her up. Butcher offers up Crimson Countess as a gesture of good faith, striking a deal with Soldier Boy. He'll help track and kill the rest of his teammates if they then kill Homelander. Starlight discovers their plan, not happy with Huey taking V. Seeing footage that he's still alive, Noir removes his tracker and disappears. MM and Starlight look for the TNT twins, finding them at the 70th anniversary of Herogasm. With Soldier Boy arriving to kill the twins, Huey teleports Annie away, just wanting to save her for a change and not feel so weak. With Soldier Boy blowing up the house, A-Train finds Blue Hawk enacting revenge for what he did to his brother, but collapses, his heart giving out. Homelander arrives and Butcher, Soldier Boy and Huey take him on, but he escapes. Having had enough, Starlight leaves a message for her 190 million followers, showing the aftermath of Soldier Boy's massacre. Tracking down Mindstorm, he gets to Butcher. Kamiko wants her powers back, asking Annie for help. Meanwhile, Noir spends some time alone, reflecting on the abuse he suffered under Soldier Boy's leadership. With Edgar claiming Vogelbaum as someone stronger coming, Noir led the team against Soldier Boy but received the consequences. A-Train wakes up, having been given Blue Hawk's heart. He can run again. Confronting Starlight, Homelander shows his true colors as she livestreams his threats. Huey has Mindstorm wake Butcher before then being killed. 
Annie warns Butcher about the Temp V, discovering it's fatal with enough doses. That night, Soldier Boy calls Homelander, realizing it's his son. Receiving information on Ryan's whereabouts from Newman, Homelander collects his son. Maeve manages to escape as Noir returns to Vought, ready to fight Soldier Boy. Intending to protect Huey from the V, Butcher leaves him behind as they head to Vought Tower. Homelander kills Noir after he admits he knew about his father. Maeve joins Butcher in their attack on Homelander, but Ryan gets involved, being attacked by Soldier Boy. Overcoming his rage and upholding his promise, Butcher confronts Soldier Boy whilst Maeve continues on Homelander. As he powers up his beam, Maeve sacrifices herself to take out Soldier Boy and protects the people in Vought Tower, launching them both out the window. Butcher stands between Homelander and Ryan once more, but this time Ryan joins his father. As they leave, Butcher collapses, the V killing him. He has 18 months tops. Maeve survived, her powers gone though, moving away with Elena, far from Homelander. Meanwhile, Singer announces Newman as his new VP running mate. Homelander introduces Ryan to his crowds of fans, but he's attacked. In anger, Homelander kills the man immediately. The crowds cheer his name, including Todd.